Okay guys, welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Uh, the progression on my account has been absolutely insane. I've been loving the game. I've been playing it pretty much ever since it released non-stop. It is a really fun game. The good thing about it too is that it's an idle game. So you don't really even have to do too much. That's why I think I like it a, a lot. Because of the fact that most of other gotcha games that I play very hands-on or you have to do a lot in order to progress right but here really all you have to do is you have to manage like you have to manage wisely and what i mean by that is you have to pretty much use your gems at a reasonable rate you have to make sure that you're using your gems to benefit you not only in summoning but there are some things in the shop for equipment that can really help you progress in your account. So you wanna do stuff like that. Like just think about the things that you're doing and you should be all right. Plus, like I said, it's very idle. Three hours of waiting and then get all of this stuff. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that for sure. You can get equipment from here. You get these break stones, you get the scrolls. Like it is, That's I think that's why I really genuinely enjoy it. But all right. So the point of this video is because I wanted to show off Ryu, right? Ryu is a beast. He is an absolute monster. I think that Ryu is probably, if he, he has to be like, is he like the second best character in the game? Maybe. The thing about Ryu is he loses HP whenever he fights. So it does suck because he sacrifices HP. But if you have someone to help cover him, like Elena, if you have, uh, you know, like this Sakura EXP or EX move or whatever that helps, you know, refill your HP, he's okay. Like he can manage himself. I've seen different combinations and that's why I like this game too, because different combinations can work. I, for one, do not like tier list, but I especially don't think that tier list for this game is all that accurate. I don't think so. Because of the fact that you can make literally any character good with the team you build now i'm not gonna say they're absolutely insane but even some of these lower tier characters that people have placed on you know their tier list they can actually be pretty good with the right setups now will it take more work than other teams for sure but you can still make them very good like there are situations where you could make um i don't know who's here on this list um like yang right i think that's his name yeah yang you can make yang actually really busted same thing goes for mayor uh mayor cody i know mayor cody is kind of like a one trick pony with the burn and stuff but there are certain combinations in the game with teams that you can make to actually like help him out to be really good so let's go ahead let's get into the battle so this is what i want to show i want to show you guys just how good evil ryu is Take a look at Evil Ryu. Don't even worry about Makoto or Guile. Just look at Evil Ryu. Now, did you see the damage that Evil Ryu did right there? Look at that. Evil Ryu just, like, he just dominates everyone. And then he also, like, it's in, it's insane. It's actually insane the amount of power that Evil Ryu has. Now, granted, I do have Evil Ryu at S+. Plus, right? So, for me, he is S+. Plus, and... He also has, you know, good equipment. So that really helps him out as well. He has this fighting soul, which is pretty good. I like that fighting soul. It gives him attack bonus, some pressure in there, stuff like that. So it looks really, like, he looks really good. Like, he is, he is strong. Look at his attack, 5,323. Um, and then Makoto's, like, 3,000. Yeah, 3,687. It's not even close. But then again, you got Makoto because she's a tank. Look at her, look at her defense, 1,240. And then Ryu... To be honest, if Ryu didn't sacrifice HP, uh, he could be a tank too. <laughs> like he actually could be a tank. That's that's why I really like this game. There are right, there are characters that are worse than others for sure. It's a it's a gotcha game, right? They need to monetize as much as they can. It's not like every character can be super strong or whatever. But look how much HP I recovered. Did you see how much HP I just recovered right there? And they were just gonna instantly destroy Rose. Like, like it's I was like what at 20 percent or something like that and then i just recovered the hp because i had the sakura ex move and then i also had a, a, a lena um helping us out with the heels right so it's just stuff like that evil ryu is definitely i say evil ryu he's like mad ryu whatever um 
he's definitely one of these units that if you just really grind he can get you through most content in the game he can like he is he is just that unit he he actually is just a monster but the combo that i've really been going with this entire time i've been playing the game makoto iwuriu guile and um what is her name it's elena right yeah Ele elena um and elena this is the combo i've been pretty much been going with and i've been on and off with the assist I have not switched up this team since I started playing. I'm already at 718. Now, the story mode. Okay, so the story mode, it, you do have to, you know, think sometimes. Like, you can't go into story mode thinking you're going to be everything at one go. It does get insanely hard. There are 40 stages in this entire, like, in this entire, um, I, my bad, 40 chapters. 40 or 45, something like that. Chapters within this entire story. It, it's going to get to the point where you're going to need a power of like 500,000. Like it, it's going to get to that point. But obviously, you're going to have different team compositions and stuff like that. So this game really, really does have a, a creativity factor where most gacha games don't. I really, really enjoy that about this game. Like if for one Grand Cross, for example, let's take that. And I don't, I'm not going to bash on Grand Cross because, you know, it was once a game that I really, really enjoyed playing, but it got to the point where everyone just ran the same team. And it's still like that. Like the people just run the same team and they just try and win because they, you know, they have really powerful units. And while that's not bad per se, and you know, it is a PVP based game, it, it's, it's like, okay, where's the variety? And I feel like there's a lot of variety with this with this game at least in the pve aspect of things i don't care about pvp um pvp is a mode that if you really really want to whale out and show off like how much i i don't want to say whale out because free to play people can you know still get to the level of some whales but obviously the whales have an inherent advantage because they have credit card sama right so they got that credit card and they could go crazy but I'm not a real big fan of PvP, but I'm sure PvP is the same way in this game as well. Like, you have units that are good, but the difference is there are more units, and I, I feel like that will probably counter those, you know, those team comps that are S, like S tier or whatever, right? I'm sure that's, that's a thing. This team right here would not be good in PvP just simply because in PvP there are really good units that specialize in not only single target attacks but they just specialize in controlling one unit or they hit different positions because they specialize there like there's just so much you have to think about when you do pvp whereas pve you can kind of get away with running so like i said running some of these low lower tier units i guess you can say um a lot of people bashed on makoto when the game for literally day one they were bashing on makoto um sorry she's like s s tier i'm sorry right she is really really good now she's not gonna be inherently strong as evil ryu per se but that's because one she's a tank and two it's you know you have to you have to make a team where she's gonna live because she's in the front she needs to absorb damage right she absolutely needs to and that's just how it's just it is what it is there's nothing nothing you can really change about her like that. you see what i mean like she's dead and that is kind of a problem but at the end of the day iwuri was just literally taking them all out so makoto goes down and it's like all right iwuri go ahead do your thing and i i, I do like that i i actually do like that and iwuri is just an absolute demon i just i have no fear when iwuri comes out to play i'm on i'm honestly thinking about switching up the um the combo right now i have Pro, um you know makoto as the what you call it as the super like the you know the first starter or the super or whatever but i might switch that up to evil ryu i might and i kind of want to but i really like his uh his his um hur hurricane kick i guess you want to if you want to call it that but we can see how this works let me modify it okay so we'll have ryu start the combo so for the single target we'll do the heal really do like the spin kick yeah let, let's do it like this 
So Makoto doesn't even get a chance to hit. But that's also really bad for Makoto because Makoto needs to... She, she kind of needs to build up her key. So that's that's really bad for her. But Evil Ryu can do the day. Let me see. Let me... Let me I, let, let's let's try this. Um, let's try this. Uh, if it doesn't work out, we'll switch it. But we'll we'll try it. I, I you know what? Guy as an opponent is really annoying to face because guy he he's just he always attacks the back for some reason. He always just targets the back. I think that's it literally in his kit. But yeah, it it, it does get really annoying. Okay, okay, it's, um, okay, the, the reason why I'm a little sus on this is because of Makoto, but I'm gonna make a video on Makoto herself, because I think she really does deserve one, and the simple fact is, I literally main Makoto, so we'll make a video on her separate, I guess there's no, I guess there's no point to really keep going with the video, I mean, we've seen pretty much everything I wanted to show about Evil Ryu, 37k power level right now for me, S+, plus. I need to get his gear better, for, for uh, Makoto, she does have legendary gear, she does, so I really do need to get her, uh, uh, Evil Ryu some legendary gear whenever the uh, opportunity presents itself, but um, we'll see, we'll see what ends up happening, but thanks for watching guys, let me know what you guys are thinking about Street Fighter Duel, Evil Ryu, he's insane, and uh, that's it guys, I'm out. Peace.